This is the U.S. Embassy. Has anyone ever been inside it? Some hands up over there. Hand up there, okay. I wish there was more we could do than just a vigil and just a demonstration outside the U.S. Embassy. In fact, I wish we could have a sit-in. I wish that we could occupy it. I wish that we could shut things down until the camps are closed. Because they run on monotonous violence, banal violence, the everyday, these are people's jobs. They go to the, they go to the camps, they work there, they apprehend people. This is the daily reality of treating humans as non-humans. And there's a long history in the United States of that whether it's going from the Indian Removal Act and, and putting Native Americans in reservations, if it's forced labor under chattel slavery, whether it's the Japanese internment camps. There's a long history in the United States of treating humans as non-humans. And the reality, the conclusion of that, we've got photos of it right here, of migrants face down in the Rio Grande. So I think for us, this is our moment. We will look back at this moment and say, where were you? What did you do when ICE announced that it was going to um, unleash raids on undocumented people in the United States? Where were you when children were held in cages? Where were you when people were, were when families were separated? This is our moment, and it's not enough to have this demo. In fact, I'm sick of it. We've had many of these. We need to figure out something much more powerful, and it has to be disruptive. And in fact, we should demand that Richard Grinnell, the US ambassador, should be expelled from Germany. Yeah. Expel Grinnell. Expel Grinnell. And then we also can't just be looking at the United States. We also have to be looking at what's happening here in Fortress Europe. Because the same camps, detention camps that don't let people leave, that, that keep them in inhumane, unsanitary conditions where people die of preventable diseases, they're happening as well. They're happening in Libya. And who organized the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi? Who organized the disruption of Libya? The U.S. government. There's a long history of this. It's not just that we've got people on the border. There's a whole chain link, a whole chain of, 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 of events that have gone um, to create this moment. I'm not gonna say any more. I'm really angry. And I'm gonna say, let's do some chanting. Okay, this one goes. Let's do this. Free, 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 free the refugees. 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 Free, free, free. Free the refugees. Open the border, close the camps. 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 timing that's okay we'll do the last one here um <clears throat> no borders
borders, no nations. Stop the deportations. No borders, no nations. Stop the deportations. No borders, no nations. Stop the deportations. No borders, no nations. Stop the deportations. All right, our next speaker. Thank you. We're going to do more.